Well, basically, we start off from the from the roots to feet. We don't we don't do anything. You don't throw a punch when you're coming in until you sort out the foundations, your footwork. So you've got to have a solid base. We'll do footwork drills. Once I'm happy, they've got a nice solid base and they're balanced. Feet, shoulder width apart, and etc. Then we go from there. The shot selection. We'll make sure everything's fundamentally sound from the jab right through to the hooks and the uppercuts. And then once that's fine, that's in there, we'll start doing drills, like we showed you the parry, stopping it, stopping the jab with the parry, slipping, turning defence into offence, because basically boxing's hit and not get hit, that's what we always implement, even in the bare knuckle game, which is, it's the same, it's the same field, but it's, it's different, it's the uh, same rules, same field, but it's slightly different, it's like walking a uh, tightrope without a net, the bare knuckle game, but we still implement the hit and not get hit sort of style, so that's what we do at first. And then after that, we'll do circuits, we mix it up, we do footwork drills, defence drills, offensive drills, and as you just seen there, the, uh, the gruelling circuits. And that's what we do. A bit of sparring in there as well. And a little bit of sparring, oh yeah, I forgot a little bit of sparring there, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of sparring as well, but uh, yeah, we implement it all, fitness, road work, hill sprints, everything, we do not leave a stone unturned in this gym. So at what stage do you kind of get lads in the ring and, and trading blows then in, in sparring sessions? It, it depends, you can get lads that come in, to the gym and they've already boxed somewhere before but they've just got off the couch a little bit rusty but uh, the foundations are sound and they already have a, a little peg up and an understanding of the sport which makes obviously the coaches and myself's job easier. Um, if they come in and what you call green in the game and they're very raw, rough around the edges, they don't know anything, it'll be months before they get in there and spar, months and uh, depending on the person and uh, the progression levels and what they put into it could be even longer than months, could be a year or so, it just depends mate. So we've already touched on your fight on November the 9th, you've got your third show, the gloves are off, coming up at Commune on the 23rd of November. Correct. I presume you'll be fighting on that as well. I am, five twos in gloves, I'm staying busy, yeah. Uh, I would have fought bare knuckle, but I wasn't too sure I was going to be after November 9th, you can't take anything for granted, Shane's a tough, tough guy and he's got a real dig on him, so you can't take those sort of things for granted. So. Uh, yeah, I'll be fighting in gloves, but who knows, I might not be fighting, it depends what shape I'm in, but yeah, I'm trying to stay busy, I'm trying to stay busy this year, and, and next year. And what have you learnt from your, your first two shows, and, and, and do you feel, from what you have learnt from them shows, you, number three will be, will be the best one that has been staged yet? Yeah, it'd be hard to, hard to um, outdo that last one, it was really good, but what I've learnt is it's not easy to fight and promote at the same time, that's yeah. what I've learnt, and I'll, uh, that'll turn you grey quickly people, but um, yeah, it was... Uh, it was hard work, it was hard work, but I think the progression is going to be there now. It's, it's coming to fruition in Hamburg and Pendle over this way, which is what one of my main aims was. We've got lads now from over here, homegrown talent laces, gym fighters, knuckles fighters, getting on massive bare knuckle shows with other promoters around the country. So another aim of mine, which I was trying to do. So yeah, everything's gone successful, it's going really good. You can see it growing in front of you. Yeah, massively, massively, mate, yeah. Exciting times ahead, definitely. 2020 is going to be a huge year for us. And that makes all the time and effort feel worthwhile, does it? It does, mate. It does all the stress, yeah, impalpable stress. But yeah, it does, mate. It is. It's all worthwhile. Superb. Good man. Thank you, Dan. Cut. <laughs>